So in this video, I'll show you how you can qualify for potential Merlin Chain airdrop. And as you can see in this tweet, they said that Bitcoin Layer 2 Merlin Chain will build upon the native assets, protocols and added products of Bitcoin Layer 1. So if you scroll down below, you can see all of these implementations and integrations, like for example, BRC20, BRC420, Bitmaps, Atomicals, and so on different assets like for example pipe or src20 as well we also have a working bridge where you can bridge your assets from evm addresses like for example ethereum or bnb chain or polygon i think there's over 10 different chains that you can bridge your assets from and we're also going to have a few applications that you can start interacting right now like for example one of these is the merlin swap the most popular where you can swap your assets from or you can use the mason bridge which is the bridge for evm addresses so i'm going to be walking you through step by step how you can qualify for the airdrop so if you don't know yet merlin allocated one thousand dollars or 21 million tokens to people's launchpad and in here if you want to start participating where well, i think you should uh, you're supposed to connect your evm address your metamask address to people's launchpad and you want to connect your Twitter and also you want to connect your Discord account. So once you do that, you want to follow them on Twitter and you will be able to invite people. And if you have any assets like Ally, you can stake it. And in exchange of that, you will earn the PowerPoints, which at the end, you will get some allocation from the PowerPoints that you accumulated. Also, you can hold BTC on Merlin Chain mainnet and you can earn 1000 PowerPoints per every 0.0025 BTC in your wallet. So first, you want to go ahead and I already created my account and I follow them on Twitter. So. If you have any invite link, you can go ahead and copy your invite link and you can send it somewhere else. I'm going to leave my invite link in a bio because it's necessary to join. So you have to use it if you want to start participating in people's launchpad. So now next, if you want to buy some ally, you want to go to marketplace and it's going to bring you to this marketplace where you can see different tokens. So right now we have only the net native one ally, which is online near chain. And a lot of people minted that also me and my discord community, we minted that as well. If you click on that, you can purchase any assets of course guys this is not a financial advice you can buy any asset that you want like for example if you like to buy forty thousand of ally that will cost you 26 dollars but then you can take that asset and stake it you want to go back to this launch pad and you want to stake it if you click on this button so now the most important thing in my opinion is the third step so you want to actually bridge it to merlin chain and start using different applications so to do that you want to click on this button and it's going to show you what you need to do so first you need to bridge it to mason so let's go ahead and do that so once you're in the mason you want to connect your evm address and you want to be on the ethereum or any other chain that you want i'm gonna bridge it from if so now if you want to perform the swap unfortunately we cannot send ethereum we can only send usdt or usdc so if you want to swap it the simplest way is to do is to go to uniswap or you can go to one inch exchange so in here let's say we want to swap 0.05 ether so I'm going to click on the swap button. So now we have our USDT. So what I'm going to do is to bridge these funds to Merlin chain. So click on the swap button. And whenever you're using any unknown chain or different dubs, you just want to use burner wallet in case something bad happen because bridges often get exploited. So you just want to make sure you are not interacting with your main wallet that you have some valuable assets in. So make sure you guys benefit from that. This dub is not the most important thing you can use. The main thing is you want to actually start using Merlin on its own. You want to bridge funds, you want to use it because that might be considered. So if you, for example, we didn't qualify through the platform, you don't have to be, you know, discouraged to not use Merlin because even though you're going to use it, you're going to make some volume, you're going to be active on Merlin chain. That might be enough to qualify you for the potential airdrop. Five hours ago, Merlin announced the Merlin seal, the biggest fair launch of layer two. So what they mean by that is essentially during the first round of Merlin seal, we are offering four types of rewards. So there will be 20% of Merlin token. This is going to be the biggest staking reward among all layer two. So additional benefits for providing liquidity to native DEXs Merlin swap. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. Also the DeFi protocols will be considered and Ethereum native yield stake rewards, Ethereum deposited through stake stone. So there's a ton of different applications you can use and also supported assets for Merlin Seal include assets like BRC20, Bitcoin, all of these assets that you can see in here. So if you've been in Ordinals for a while, you are familiar with some of these. So if you, for example, hold a bag of truck, that's hopefully going to qualify you for a better allocation. Same like Bitmap. So if you know, uh, my community is heavy into Bitmap, so we hold a ton of bitmaps so hopefully we're gonna get a nice allocation the brc420 assets are also qualified for merlin airdrop like for example blue boxes they are super expensive thirty thousand dollars for one box we also have these songs about nfts and that was like pretty hype 
uh, DJ Min recently when Elon tweeted about this as well. And also we have minerals. And of course, Ethereum, USDT and USDC are considered as well. And that's the supported wallet that you can use. So pretty much all of these wallets support Merlin. The most popular wallets support Merlin chain. So now we bridge our assets. And if you want to connect your Merlin chain wallet, you can go ahead and you can click on this arrow. So once you're going to click on this arrow, it's going to automatically pop up the MetaMask where it's going to add your chain to your MetaMask wallet. So click on the approve button. And then you want to switch the network to Merlin. So now as you can see, we have 0.002 Bitcoin in our Merlin wallet. So the next step we can do, you can go back again to the launchpad and you can find this link. So what do you want to do once you have your assets in your wallet? Also, if you want to see your assets using people's launchpad wallet, um, you're not going to see this, but under my camera, there's a one circle where you can, if you're going to click on it, it's going to pop up this wallet. So I'm going to expand it to show you guys. And you can see I have $90 in Bitcoin in this wallet. So it's all good. We have the assets on Merlin chain. So the next step you want to do, so the next step you want to do is essentially you want to use different applications on Merlin chain. So one of these apps we're going to use is we're going to use Merlin Swap, which is probably the most popular app that we're going to use. We're going to also provide liquidity and make a few swaps. So in here, what we need to do is, of course, connect our wallet. So you're going to connect your wallet and then you want to select MetaMask. You also have options like Unisat and etc. But if you want to participate in people's launchpad, you want to use EVM addresses because right now, the Bitcoin bridge doesn't work. It is under the maintenance and it's going to be live when the campaign will be finished. So we want to actively participate in the campaign as well. So we want to benefit getting some uh, more tokens when it comes to the airdrop. So now let's connect our MetaMask wallet and then you want to basically just sign up. So let's say we want to do 0.001 BTC and we want to select, for example, IUSD. So that would be $40 swap so simply again now you want to go ahead and click on confirm button and you will need to pay a small fee for the transaction so now as you can see that was instant so we have our assets ready in our wallet what we can do now is you can essentially make another swap let's say i'm just going to select this coin and that's the another meme coin we swap from one coin to another one to create some volume and we're going to make one more swap from this meme coin to wrap bitcoin because because I want to provide some liquidity. And now we're going to make one more swap and we're going to swap this meme coin into wrap Bitcoin. So just divide it by two and that's uh, 21,000 of these tokens to wrap Bitcoin. So approve it and then click on the swap button and confirm the transaction. So now next you want to go ahead and click on the pools and we're going to add some liquidity. So let's say we're going to select the first one and that's why I don't want to risk a lot. So we're going to provide only a little bit. So let's just provide 20,000 of these tokens. And we're gonna approve it and then you want to approve it in your metamask wallet and click create button and now we can see we have this added there if you don't want to stake it anymore you can come back let's say after a few days and you want to remove your assets from a liquidity pool and then you want to swap this meme coin to bitcoin so you're gonna get your money back and it's good to keep it for a few days so you're gonna be you know considered as a good network contributor that you are not a stable or anything like that you just want to uh, purely test the network test the features that they provided to so now if you go to your wallet you'll see that i have some balance deducted so i have 42 dollars so now we have some assets on merlin chain if you go to the launch part you will need to go to the third option and click on this orange button it's going to verify how much assets you have you have in your wallet so click on verify so then you want to click continue verify and it will show you how much assets you have in your wallet so i have 3000 from staking and it's not a lot, but it's always something. So it's going to qualify me for 37 points. But that's not even most important because if they're going to drop something, additionally, you're going to get some location through people's launch bot, but also you're going to get the main acquisition because you use it because you provide liquidity to the platform, to the chain. Also, there are already a ton of different applications on Merlin chain. So if you want to start exploring, you can do that. But one of these is, for example, Mobox. So you can essentially read some of these guys, what they require to do to be essentially a participant into Merlin chain. Another one is Bitmap War. So essentially they are building. You can see as, uh, what it's going to look like. And if you go to the official website, you can see everything is coming soon. So the list goes on and on. And you can find some of these projects on Twitter. But just make sure you verify them. They are not a scam or anything like that. The best way is to essentially go to official Merlin chain Twitter and just search for some applications that they are already live on Merlin. So it's super early. There's only a few working at the moment. Definitely use Merlin Swap and use Burner Wallet you don't want to be drained or anything like that it's super early so sometimes contracts get exploited and let's hope it's not going to happen so that's why i'm recommending you guys to use burner wallet so there will be a link down below if you want to use it and if you found this video useful let me know in the comment down below hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you in the next one